Hi everyone, welcome to Tanya and Tiana English. English. Today we have a little bit of a different video for you all today and we're going to be talking about phrasal verbs which we've done before. I think you've especially done some videos on phrasal verbs yes. and we have some on our Instagram, so go check those out. Um, but I think you really can't learn enough phrasal verbs. We use them all the time. Okay, not all the time, but a lot. All the and time. I think we use them all yeah. the time. I think it's safe to say that I, 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 I'm not even sure I could guess how often we use them, but I don't think that an American could talk more than five or ten minutes without using a phrasal verb. That's <laughs> yeah. just my guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, we love teaching phrasal verbs and we have a little bit of a different way of doing it today. So stick with us. Like Tiana said, we have a little bit of a different approach to sharing some phrasal verbs with you today. What I've done is I've taken a bunch of little papers and I wrote a phrasal verb on each one and put it in this cute little cup that Tiana got in Mexico, yep. I think. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cute. You can't really see it, but it's a very beautiful, rich blue color in there. I was going to see if I could get the light to shine in there. But anyway, so we're going to take turns picking them out just to keep it fun and help you to understand these phrasal verbs. So I'm going to let you start. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> Ooh, this my... is a good one to start with. Yeah, the first one that I got is conk out. Um, and this means to uh, fall asleep. And I see that you wrote stop working, which I, I hadn't heard of it that way, but I, yeah. And totally, totally. So mm -hmm. I'll take that one, you take the other one. Yeah, yeah. So you might. If you want to use conk out as stop working, the way you would use that in a sentence is, I was driving along when my car conked out. Mm. In other words, mm -hmm. my car stopped working. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's one way you could use that one. Yeah, I would, I've would. i mostly heard that one as like falling asleep, like really fast yes. too. So like um, a parent might say, oh, the kids conked out last night at nine o'clock or something or like last night I was really tired and I read for a while and then I conked out so exactly mm -hmm. it's interesting I think we almost always use this phrasal verb in the past tense mm -hmm. I don't think I have ever heard somebody use it in the future I think you could you could say I hope that my car doesn't conk out I yeah hope, in other words I hope it keeps working so or maybe like we're waiting for the kids to conk out. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. You could. Use, but I think usually we use it in the past. Now, so okay. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna pick one, and mine is oh, dish out. So mm -hmm. this one means like to distribute something or to uh, give away a lot of something. So you could use it literally, like to dish out food. Mm -hmm. We were talking about this earlier. Tiana made a delicious breakfast lunch which we call brunch uh -huh. breakfast and lunch <laughs> brunch um for us and so when she made that she was dishing out the potatoes mm -hmm. i have to say she didn't dish me out the potatoes i wanted <laughs> <laughs> but i got some good potatoes so you don't have to worry <laughs> um but what's another way you could use that maybe not literally yeah so um i was thinking of two ways actually one is um, someone could dish out gossip yes so um, we don't recommend that no not really but um, <laughs> but it happens yeah and then another way to say it is you might hear someone say don't dish it out if you can't take it yeah so main meaning that like maybe if someone's being like sarcastic or kind of joking with someone but maybe in a little bit of a mean way but they don't really mean it but someone if they do that and then someone does it back to them and they get really upset the other person might say like well don't dish it out don't be mean and joking if you if I can't be mean and joke with you too exactly so it goes both ways that's what that phrase means exactly okay let's do another one all right Ah, deal with. 
I feel like I use this one actually a lot. Like, um, it means with to like handle something, mm -hmm. to to work with something. So like, um, you might deal with like if you if you work at a store, you might deal with a lot of customers. I used to mm -hmm. work at a store, and so. Um, I did that. I dealt with customer or dealt with customers. <laughs> I can English, I swear. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and what else? What else might you deal with? Uh, you could deal with uh, anything that comes your way. Mm -hmm. I I hear people, especially the younger generation right now, say only deal with it. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like if somebody doesn't like something that someone else said, so let's say I say to Tiana, uh, blah, 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 whatever, and she doesn't like it, she doesn't like that I said that, I could say to her, well, deal with it. In other words, you're just going to have to handle it. You're just going to have to, uh, so like she just has to accept that mm -hmm. that's how it is. Mm -hmm, so. Mm -hmm. Is it my turn or your turn? I think it's my turn. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Deal with it was yours? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I got gloss over, mm. which is not used really often, but you will definitely uh, hear this phrasal verb. It means to be really brief. Mm -hmm. So if I need to tell somebody something that's difficult to tell them, Mm. I might gl gloss over it. In other words, mm. I might just say it really quickly. Um, and so some sometimes people will say, well, don't just gloss over it. Mm -hmm. In other words, say what you really mean. Don't just try to make it so brief that you don't really explain what you're saying. Right. Or like sometimes I'll hear my professors say that like, we don't have a lot of time today, so we're just going to have to kind of gloss over this topic because you can't really, it's like more surface level. You're not going to get to get all the detail. So. I, th I think that's a good description without mm -hmm. all the details. Mm -hmm. So, Okay, your turn. All right. Let's see. Pick a good one. Carry on. So there used to be a really popular... I don't know if a meme or something on social media that said keep calm and carry on yep and um basically we just mean continue like yes. to just keep going um there's also, another phrasal verb. yeah i was gonna say that's another <laughs> phrasal verb continue is yeah. the non-phrasal verb in this situation mm -hmm. see we really can't speak without for five minutes without a phrasal <laughs> verb um <laughs> but uh yeah so I might say that um, maybe things are tough or life is throwing all kinds of stuff at you, but just carry on, keep going. Or or you might say like if you're working on something and maybe like a teacher or a boss or something comes around, they'll be like, okay, you're doing a good job. Carry on. Continue. Mm -hmm. Continue. All right. I have picked another one here and it is kick off to kick off, mm -hmm. which means to start or begin something. So for instance, we could say, when we kicked off this video, we told you we were gonna talk about phrasal verbs. Or when we started this video, we told you we were gonna speak about phrasal verbs. So you'll hear that. I think that, oh, you'll hear it in businesses like we're gonna kick off a new campaign, we're mm -hmm. gonna start a new campaign, and they'll even use it as a noun, like, did you go to the kickoff? Which is also a sports thing. Oh, right. In football, they talk about the kickoff. It's a noun mm -hmm. when we use it that way. In football, when they kick kick the ball for the first time, and again, it's the start. Mm -hmm. I think they only do that at the start, but I'm not a sports person. So if you know the answer to that, let us know. <laughs> you know, are kickoffs right in the beginning of a football game? I think it is. You can let us know yeah. in the comments below. So go ahead. You pick another one. All right that bring up so there's a couple of ways you could, you could say this like bring up a topic like I'm bringing up this phrasal verb right now yes um or you could bring up a child like my mom brought me up I raised her <laughs> mm-hmm that's mm -hmm. that's another one way to say that one all right to advise against 
when you advise against something, you don't recommend it. Mm -hmm. So I would advise against, what could I advise against? I would advise hmm. against clicking off this video. <laughs> <laughs> I would advise that you stay mm -hmm. on this video. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, get up. So this morning I got up around 10 o'clock because it's Sunday. Yay. <laughs> so you got to sleep in. Yeah. <laughs> to, to sleep longer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, or to raise, so to raise something like um, you could raise yourself. Like a lot, of, we use this a lot when we say uh, get up off of the couch. So stand up. Is oh, another yeah, way yeah. To say that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that pretty much covers that one. Yeah. Okay, I have appeal to. There's two ways we use this phrasal verb. One is to plead. So mm -hmm. you could say. He appealed to the crowd, asking them for their votes. He pleaded with the crowd, asking for their votes. Um, and then the other way is when we say something appeals to me. Mm -hmm. I, it means I like it. It's attractive to me. Um, so it's like plead or please. <laughs> plead or please. Appeal mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that's a good way to remember it. <laughs> Go ahead and pick another one. All right. Let's see. To blow up. Oh my gosh. So maybe the first one I think of is if someone gets really mad and then they start yelling and screaming and cursing and they blew up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so or... that's, that's kind of like a phrasal verb and an idiom all in one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, yeah. didn't, they didn't actually blow up. No. But they kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Freaked out. <laughs> or... <laughs> yeah, Which I, is another... another one we talked about. In one of our videos. Yeah, I yeah. think we did. We'll find it for you and list it up here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and um, the other one is to literally explode. Like, it actually blew up. Like a volcano or something like that. So, um, oh, you can also blow up a balloon. So, mm -hmm. so like, <laughs> <laughs> blow up a balloon. Yep. Exactly. All right. I got to nod off. I can demonstrate that for you. <laughs> to, <laughs> to nod off is to fall asleep. So mm -hmm. you will sometimes hear somebody say, oh, be careful, Grandpa nodded off. So he, yeah. he's sleeping. You might think of that as like, have you ever seen someone kind of nod off? Yes. And they like kind of wake up like they're trying to keep themselves from going to sleep and they're like <laughs> exactly oh yeah <laughs> that in that case it's, we can use it as a continuous thing they are nodding off mm -hmm. it's like they can keep doing it mm -hmm. it's continuous so so all right next one play up uh, to to exaggerate something so um I can't like play up this video enough. Like, <laughs> it, well, that's not exaggerate. It also could be like to, I'm gonna say another one, hype up to like say it's good and like. Yeah, to, yeah. when you play up something, you mm -hmm. tell all the good things about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so he was playing up his project, he was telling us everything that was good about it. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. All right, I got to show up which basically means to appear or to arrive. So mm -hmm. you could uh, say that I showed up at the party at seven o'clock. In other words, I arrived at the party at seven o'clock, <laughs> seven o'clock. <laughs> or you could say um, he, or the idea suddenly showed up in my mind. Mm -hmm. It suddenly appeared in my mind mm -hmm. is, is mm -hmm. another way to say that. This weekend, my mom showed up at my apartment on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're so glad. Yes. <laughs> All right, fall through. So it kind of means like to fail or if something just doesn't happen or work out, which is another phrasal verb. <laughs> and um, 
uh, it basically means like, well, you could say I was really working on this project, but it fell through. It mm -hmm. didn't. It didn't work out how I thought it would. So yes. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, I got to hold on or to hang on. And I put them both on one paper because they're very, very similar. They both mean wait. So mm -hmm. if I'm talking to, on the phone to someone and I need them to wait for a minute, I can say, hold on, I need to talk to my daughter. Hold on. Or hang on. Either one mm -hmm. mean the same thing. And they also mean to grip something tightly. So hold on, hold on to the cup, or mm -hmm. I'm gonna hang on to this cup for you, Tiana. Mm -hmm. we, we can also use it in a way that's not literal. I might say to her, um, I'll hang on to the cup for you when I'm not actually going to hold it in my hand the whole time. It just means I will keep it at my house for her until she needs it. So that's yeah. another way mm -hmm. that we can use that phrasal verb. To think over. So this is kind of like to consider something and really think about all of it. Like everything that you could think about it. So um, maybe you're trying to make a decision and you're thinking over what you might do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think of this when I wrote that one, but you could have it the opposite. To think over is what she spoke of. But we also talk about overthinking things uh, mm -hmm. when we think too much about something. So it could be mm -hmm. either direction, really. All right, mix up, which mm -hmm. basically means to confuse. Mm -hmm. So if I say I mixed up my words, maybe I used the wrong word, I got one word confused with the other. Or if I mixed up my, what else could you mix up? Um, mixed up the the cups or something and right yeah that's mm -hmm. a good if we it let's say we were both drinking tea out of which we have been <laughs> a lot and our but let's say that our cups were the same mm -hmm. I could say oh Tiana I'm really sorry I mixed up our cups and drank out of yours in other words I confused our truck our cup ugh, I can't speak <laughs> I confused our cups and I accidentally drank out of yours because I got them mixed up mm -hmm. or you could take all these phrasal verbs and, and mix, mix them, them up. up or you know to to mix them up <laughs> like we did in the beginning exactly <laughs> okay and I had another one you could use that as a noun too like oh I'm so sorry there's been a mix-up yes and meaning that something happened and it got confused and we'll just have to work around it now yes exactly so. all right end up so um, to finally reach something or how what happened when it was all said and done, when it was all finished. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe it ended up that, uh, oh, I can't think of an example. Maybe you had, let's say, I had a plan to go to school and study this topic, but it ended up I studied a different topic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or you could say like, I ended up somewhere. So like, I, was going planning on going to California, but I ended up in New York. Yeah. That would be quite a mix up though. <laughs> Speaking of mix up. So it's not necessarily that it accidentally happened that mm -hmm. way. It's just the way we describe what we finally decided. Mm -hmm. I ended up deciding to go to New York. Mm -hmm. So, all right, let's see, to water down. It can be used literally or not literally. L when we use it literally, we mean to d dilute something. So mm -hmm. let's say you're drinking a glass of juice and it's just too sweet for you. You can put some water in it. You could say, I'm going to water down my juice. I'm mm -hmm. gonna put some water in it so that it's not so sweet or not so strong. Yeah. Or we could also use this to mean to de-emphasize something. So. Mm -hmm. You might say uh, they watered down the explanation of how they were going to do that. In other words, mm -hmm. they made it more gentle. Instead of telling you exactly what they were going to do, mm -hmm. they watered down their opinion. 
let's say. Uh, yeah. So mm -hmm. if they had a very strong opinion mm -hmm. and they watered it down, they made it a more gentle way of telling you something that maybe you wouldn't normally agree with. Right. Or I've heard people say like, sorry, this is the watered down version. Right. You can talk to me more about it if you want, but I'll just tell you the the simple version. Or... Yeah. The, mm -hmm. Or the easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, easier. Yeah. Could you water mm -hmm. that down for me? Mm -hmm. to make it easier for me? Uh-huh. <laughs> kind of thing. So. All right. So... Choose one of these phrasal verbs and see if you can use it in a sentence and write it in the comments below. Yep. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any more Tanya and Tiana English. All right. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ready? One, two, two three. three. <laughs> <laughs> let's, do, let's do it again. Look up. Mm -hmm. Both of us will look up. One, two, two three. <laughs> <laughs>